<laughs> Yo, I'm Brendan. I just got back from a trip to Europe driving the most famous racetracks in the world, and Robin had surprised me with this notice that my gold card is apparently here. I found out whenever I was applying for this that there's new features that we didn't know before. They weren't spelled out as clearly as they are now. So let's go over what those features are, and we'll see if this card is still worth looking forward to or not. By the end of this video, I'll have an activated card, even though I don't have the physical one. And then before we know it, I'll be able to make my first purchases on this and test out if it's as good as it seems like it is. Let's go. So whenever I got this notification on my phone, I was really excited because I wanted to get this card as fast as possible, but they were having all kinds of issues this morning. Whenever I was trying to activate the card, I tried three different times this morning before it finally worked. And I even got an email from Robinhood that said, hey, Brendan, just so you know, we had some issues. We think we've resolved them now. Go ahead and try again. Even then it didn't work. And so I had to keep closing the app, waiting 30 minutes or an hour, opening it again and tried multiple times until finally on my fourth or fifth attempt, it finally did go through. And then one of the features of the card that they've promised us is that you'll get what your credit limit will be without having to have your hard credit pull. And so I filled out some basic information on here, confirm my address, confirm my income, other things like that. And it gave me a credit limit of $30,000. I don't know about you, but I sure hope to not be maxing that out anytime soon, but it's fine. Plenty. And then the first unexpected change came soon after that. I've been paying $5 per month for Robinhood Gold. Now they're acting like as part of the Robinhood Gold card that we're going to have an annual gold subscription. And this is a funny thing, as I've made Robinhood videos in the last few months, different people have chimed in and said they've paid different amounts of money for Robinhood Gold. If you look on their website, it wasn't really clear exactly how much Robinhood Gold costs, because for some people like me, five bucks a month, $60 a year. Other people were already paying $50 per year. And I think other people were paying more than I was. I think they were paying something closer to 70 or $80 a year. But now as part of this card, they're saying very clearly it's $50 per year. Then we get a beautiful little animation showing us the card and an expected delivery date of June 27th. So that's basically a week, week and a half from now. I'll actually have the physical card and get to tell you what that's like. And then they do something that I love, which is give me the card now. I should be able to have digital access to it and be able to actually use the card now, right? I mean, it's 2024. Let's do this thing. They do it in an interesting way, though. They're making you download a completely different app. So it's not within the Robinhood app at all. It's a completely separate app that's still branded by Robinhood. It's still theirs, but it's dedicated just for the credit card. So then I download downloaded that. I also set up this in my Apple Pay so I can use it really quickly by just double tapping my power button over here. So let me show you that now. This feels like it was made by the same designers as Robinhood standard app, but by people who actually like care about fashion. You know, they probably wear a suit every now and then. They've got some shiny shoes where they wear it night outs on the town. It's like a classy gold version of the Robinhood app. And right off the bat, it gives me the information that I want. If I had a remaining balance to worry about, I can do my face ID here and see the rest of the information on the card. If I wanted to say purchase something online, that's pretty cool. I did already sign up for auto payments and I said just bill me once per month for the full statement balance. So that was easy enough to set up. I just set up with my bank through Plaid. And then this is funny language. My gold card is being manufactured. And of course it's not going to be made of actual gold because I didn't refer 10 people to this gold card yet. I'm not going to get a gold and I just get a metal card, but it's apparently being manufactured as we speak. And then there's a really nicely designed reward screen that I think I'm going to be frequenting whenever I actually have rewards to speak of. It reminds us that we're getting 3% cash back on everything. We would get 5% back if we book travel through them. And then there's really easy redemption tools down here at the bottom. Make it simple, make it clear. I just, I love that. It's funny how confusing or how clunky the points redemption sections of normal credit card websites are or their apps. It's like they clearly meant for this to be a portal by which we can view our statements and maybe buy stuff. But as far as we're actually redeeming the rewards that we're using the credit card for, they make that typically like a lot clunkier and not as nice. So I like that this is like a full feature section of the app. It's like meant to be there. And then here's another new bit of information. We knew before that there would be virtual cards, but we didn't know the details on them. What kind of virtual cards are we going to have? Well, now we know. So the first kind is a standard virtual card. And that for me just means it's a normal card, but I just get to create a new one out of thin air. So I'll have my standard card number that's attached to this and that'll be what's on my actual physical card. But then if I create a new virtual card, it's like another one tied to the same account, but just with completely unique numbers. And so that could be kind of fun if you had, let's say a project you were working on, you could put everything on that virtual card number and it would tie everything to that. Or maybe you had like a, a trip you were planning. You could put everything on that number. You could somehow kind of divide it up however you want. And so I think that kind of thing is really cool because you can just organize your life a little bit. But the really cool ones are these next two. So this one is a free trial card and it auto cancels after 24 hours. I actually just used this on my old X1 card. And if you remember, Robinhood actually purchased the company X1. And so I think that's where this technology is coming from. But I got a free trial of basically like editing tools that I use to make videos for you. And I knew I wanted to try it out, but I didn't want to pay this like 30 bucks a month subscription to use them. And so I said, well, let me just create a 24 hour card. I'll charge it on that. I'll get my free two weeks. And then whenever it goes to try and charge it again, I'm actually going to be in Europe. So I won't be there to cancel it. So it'll just cancel itself because the payment will fail. And that's exactly what happened. It was super easy. I really like doing that. I still need to cancel that membership so they quit trying. But I love it whenever you know you're going to do a free trial to just light the fuse on the card and let it blow up before they ever get to charge it. 
because how many of us have forgotten to cancel the free trial? Probably all of us. Then the last one serves a similar purpose, but you could use it in slightly different ways, and that's just the single use card. I've used these before too, because let's say you're afraid that somebody's gonna charge you, or you know that there's possibly like a monthly charge that could happen on top of the one-time charge you're planning to do, or however you wanna think about it, if you know that you only want to have that merchant be able to charge you one time and not risk any recurring charges, boom. Single use card, super easy. It gets used once, then it implodes. It's like one of those James Bond tape messages where he's like, this message will self-destruct in 10 seconds. So those are cool. And then the family tab is pretty much what you would expect where you can just add a card holder and you can add somebody in there, a child, a parent, a partner, whoever. I don't know how much I'll really do that. I might do that, but it's nice, again, how easy they've made this. They have designed this so well. Everything seems nicely put together and nicely made. The only real concern I have so far is, A, can we trust Robinhood in general? Or are they going to pull something kind of shisty on us? Or B, will this actually work as well as they're intending it to work? They probably have a lot of people signing up at the same time, a lot of people trying to access the card at the same time. For me, it took me four attempts to get this thing to work this morning. So I don't know what that was a product of, but this is their first, as far as I'm aware, actual rollout of a credit card. So there could be some teething pains as they figure this out and as they make this robust enough to actually use. But as long as it actually works and does everything they've promised, I still am hopeful about it. I think it's going to be a good card. Today was just a short video as I get back in the swing of things and try and get over jet lag. The secret comment word for today is race because I got to drive some awesome cars on racetracks for the last three and a half days. And that was just the trip of a lifetime. Total bucket list. If you want to see the video that I make about that, probably sometime in the next month and you can check out my car channel. And otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.